Welcome to Nature's Newsroom. Uh, joining me is Shay Muejo, a High Seas Youth Ambassador from Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Now tell me, um, tell me about the messages coming out today from young people, especially that we have uh, during these climate strikes that are going on today. Why are these important? Yeah, I've spoken to a lot of young people and the message has just been they want more action and less commitment, less talking. They're tired of conferences over and over again. Some of them commented on the fact that before they were even born, these conferences have been going on and then now we still have those conferences going on. So like they really want this COP26 to count because there's really no time. Climate change is already here and they want change. They want real change and real action from our go government right now. Strong, strong messages, absolutely. And in terms of the high seas that we are also thinking about here on Ocean Day, um, how are they, what's the role they're playing in terms of mitigating uh, the climate change? And, and do you think that youth voices are, are well versed in these issues of protecting the ocean beyond uh, national jurisdictions out there in those high seas? So the ocean plays a very huge role in sequestering carbon and redistributing it around the planet, right? With the with the heat waves and the temperature rise, we need the ocean very, very, um, very necessary. Like it's very necessary to our survival on this planet to regulate that uh, planet's um, weathers and helping us. And also, be beyond that, it also helps to produce oxygen, right? So the ocean plays a very huge role, and be, and also it's also benefiting economies. And like we have the Caribbean and those um, various communities that rely on the ocean for living for sustenance, right? So the ocean plays a very critical role, especially in sequestering carbon and um, producing the oxygen that we breathe. And do you think that what's happening here at the COP26 is going to have an effect on these negotiations surrounding the High Seas Treaty? We're looking, hopefully, to have this new global treaty to, to protect and, and manage better those high seas areas. How do you think COP26, or how do you hope that might help in those negotiations. Yeah, so I've heard that there are various events happening that's basically creating a lot of conversations and negotiations around protecting the ocean because we need those high seas protected. Because since they are beyond national jurisdiction, they tend to be exploited, they tend to be um, polluted and yeah, basically the world is exploited by very harmful industrial activities. So we need, we need, we, I'm happy that we have something like Ocean Day at COP26, highlighting the very important critical role that the ocean plays in all of these climate discussions, because ocean action is climate action too. So we have to, we have to, um, I'm hoping that the various conversations that have been revolving around from pavilions to the main plenaries to a lot of things, that all of this would con like have a very concerted um, effort in driving the change we need in putting pressures on governments to adopt the high seas treaty yeah Shay, that's wonderful thank you very much yeah okay